So uh, I start usually with a selection. That's what I mostly do when I have a clear silhouette, like an object with a clear silhouette. I mirrored the half because this is a mirrored object. And here I made an elliptical selection to match the perspective of the drawing to the perspective of the profile of the bottle. In this case, I made a selection for a highlight. I also do a selections for rim lights. And then I just make this layer bound to the bottom silhouette so that I don't uh, go outside of the silhouette. I just made a top ellipse for the angle of the, content, of the content, and then I made a selection from the selection of the bottle. And in a new layer, I filled that in with the content, with the liquid. Uh, now I paint in a little more uh, white to suggest that the bottle is not as dark as I originally made it. And considering that the edges on the bottle are beveled, I'm going to make some bold uh, highlights. I sometimes go over with a little too strong highlight, and that's just a way to keep the put the information down, and then eventually I'll delete some of it, just as it's happening now, when I think I made a little too much. Here I'm making a selection for the bottom faces of the bottle, which I'll use as a reflection of the ground. And I'll just delete what I think is a little excessive, and there's a bit of trial and error as I try to make my mind up whether or not I like what I see. And I duplicate the base silhouette as a way to create the shadow, and now I make the reflections of the shadow on the bottle again to suggest that this is a reflective material. In this case I just made the cork out of a ellipse selection and uh, I moved it up duplicating it and when I got to the top level I used levels to make that brighter and now I have these three colors which I use to suggest the cork texture. Using a dodge and burn tool I just make it a little stronger and now I add a little bit of a dark shadow or a drop shadow to the, con the content to separate it from the background. I uh, smudge the uh, shadow a little bit and eventually add a little bit of red as a way to suggest that we got some caustics going on. And I play around with levels as a way to, just as a beauty shot for the whole scene, see how it looks in the end.